Earlier this year, Russia fired its newest and most dangerous weapon from the belly of a MiG-31 fighter jet. When the hypersonic Kinzel missile lit its rocket engines and shrieked across the sky at speeds up to Mach 5 toward a target in the Ukraine, it marked the first time a hypersonic weapon has been used in a conflict. The Kinzhal and missiles like it are at the tip of a technological revolution in weapon development. These hypersonics can reach speeds up to Mach 10, but more importantly are highly agile. Existing ballistic missiles travel faster, reaching Mach 20 as they sail high above the Earth's atmosphere, where there's less drag to slow them down. But to reach those speeds, ballistic missiles fly in predetermined arcs, like a cannonball, which makes them easy to track and shoot down. The next-gen hypersonic missiles can fly low, below 60,000 feet, adjust course mid-flight, and maneuver around missile defense systems. Military analysts have called them unstoppable. Hypersonic weaponry represents the most significant advancement in missile technology since Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBMs. These are the five most dangerous missiles in the world. Hypersonics lead the way, but several conventional weapons still keep generals up at night. KN-22 Huesong-15 While Russia and China push ahead with hypersonics and other advanced concepts, conventional weapons still pose the most immediate threat. North Korea has been steadily developing its ballistic missiles with the range needed to attack the U.S. The Huesong-15, Mars-15, transported on a mobile 18-wheel launcher, is North Korea's most powerful weapon. Analysis of a test firing in 2017 suggested that it can hit targets more than 6,000 miles away, putting mainland America within North Korea's range for the first time. This is a larger version of the Hwaesung-12 that North Korea test fired over Japan this past October. The missiles, although generations behind what the US, China, and Russia possess, are now capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to almost any spot on the globe. LGM-30 Minuteman III The U.S. Minuteman III tops the list of the most fearsome ballistic missiles. For 50 years, it has been the mainstay of the U.S. land-based nuclear arsenal and an important deterrent against nuclear attack. A stockpile of 400 missiles waits in hardened concrete silos in remote areas of Colorado, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, and Wyoming with launch crews on alert around the clock, ready to retaliate against any nuclear attack. With a range of more than 6,000 miles, traveling at speeds above Mach 23, the Minutemen can strike virtually any place on the globe reportedly within 400 feet of the target. The first Minuteman missiles, introduced in the 1970s, carried multiple warheads. But since 2001, following international nuclear treaties, a Minuteman now typically only carries a single 350 or 475 kiloton warhead. That's smaller than the nukes arming Russia's intercontinental missiles, but still 20 to 40 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The U.S. claims that the weapon's accuracy means it doesn't require such a large nuclear payload. A replacement for the Minuteman, called the LGM-35A Sentinel, should go into service by 2029. While the Minuteman's capabilities remain relevant, its aging equipment and infrastructure make it difficult to maintain. Even finding spare parts has become challenging. The new weapon built by Lockheed Martin, will be easier to maintain and upgrade with emerging technologies, including hypersonic re-entry vehicles. Dongfeng-17 Like Russia, China is ambitiously developing hypersonic weapons. One of the most significant is the DFDZF hypersonic glide missile, which is carried by the country's DF-17 aircraft carrier killer rocket. While U.S. carrier groups have defenses that can shoot down traditional missiles, this combo would be far more challenging. Unlike most ballistic missiles, the DF-17 has a flat trajectory. It cruises at relatively low altitudes, 
below 60,000 feet, or so making it difficult to detect at long range. The deed FTCF would then detach and glide toward the target at speeds above Mach 5. China based the DF-17 on its existing DF-16B short-range ballistic missile and unveiled the new weapon in 2019, when it was seen being transported by a 10-wheeled launch vehicle. China claims the missile is already in service. That should worry opposing naval fleets. The speed and mass of the weapon make it more destructive than existing anti-ship missiles. The DF-17 is about 20 times the size of America's most common anti-ship missile, the 12-foot-long Harpoon. And the kinetic impact alone of one striking a ship at a mile per second would likely inflict catastrophic damage. Jericho 3 The Jericho 3 is the first Israeli intercontinental ballistic missiles. It is a further development of the Jericho 1 short-range ballistic missile and Jericho 2 medium-range ballistic missile. It is also believed to share technology with the Shavit Space Launch Vehicle. The Jericho 3 is known to be 15.5 meters in length and 1.56 meters in diameter and is estimated to weigh 30,000 kilograms. It employs inertial guidance, while the final stage with the warhead is radar-guided. The warhead is not believed to be particularly accurate compared to those of the ICBMs employed by the superpowers, with an estimated CEP of 1,000 meter. The range of the Jericho 3 is substantial, encompassing the entirety of the Middle East, Europe, Africa, Asia, and most of North America, South America, and North Oceania. As such, the Jericho 3 enables the Israel Defense Forces to launch a nuclear warhead into almost any location on Earth. At relatively closer range targets, the re-entry velocity is such that the Jericho 3 is believed to be largely immune to all operational missile defense systems. The Jericho 3 was not declared operational until 2011. The first test launch is believed to have occurred in January 2008, with a motor test in the following February. Several additional test launches have been reported, including one in July of 2013. King H-47M2 Kinzhal Russia broke through the hypersonic missile barrier first, launching the Kinzhal from a MiG-31 fighter jet earlier this year. The Kinzhal is a modified version of the country's Iskander, a ground-launched ballistic missile, but it has new aerodynamics and guidance systems that give it greater maneuverability. An advanced tail section and rudders allow the Kinzhal to evade air defenses including the U.S. Patriot surface-to-air missile. Kinzhal can carry either a conventional warhead with 1,100 pounds of explosive or a nuclear device of up to 500 kilotons. And Russia seems intent on showing off the weapon's capabilities. This year, Russia has fired at least three Kinzhals with conventional warheads during the war against Ukraine. The effect so far has been underwhelming. One of those rockets misfired and landed inside Russia, injuring six civilians, including a firefighter. Some defense analysts have even called the Kinzhal quasi-ballistic, suggesting that it is less maneuverable than Russia claims. <laughs>